Hey everybody, Spooky Marshmallow here, and today I am going to be reviewing <sighs> Rob Zombie's The Munsters. It's available right now on Netflix. It's rated PG-13. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes has given it a 36. Once again, I disagree with Rotten Tomatoes. I'd give it less than that. I'm saying like 20. And only because the costumes in that film are phenomenal, especially Lily's wardrobe. Oh my gosh. Lily's wardrobe in the film is awesome. Um, also, especially her wedding dress, okay? But also because um, uh, Daniel Roebuck, um, he played Grandpa. He was the only one that did a phenomenal job. He really recreated that role. And I know that that wasn't the point of Zombies film, was to recreate the characters exactly as they were. But Grandpa, I feel, was close and he did an excellent job. Okay, so Sherry Moon as Lily, as predicted was not a good choice um she she had the look it could have been better with the makeup but she did have the the lily look but the speech was all off um for some reason she read her lines like Catherine hepburn like this which lily did not talk like this so i'm not quite sure what that was all about um, the comedy was so forced that it made it not funny, if that makes any sense. Like, it, uh, the parts where, you know, you should have laughed, like, came out very awkwardly and not very well executed at all. The effects were really good. Um, the costumes, like I said before, were really good. Uh, I don't know much about Jeff Daniel Phillips um, as an actor, but as Herman, he was not a good choice at all for Herman Munster. N not at all. Um, Thomas Boykin made a good Lester. He was spot on as Lester. Um, also, Zombie left it open for a part two. Um, and here's why I think that, because... There was not the introduction to Eddie or Marilyn in the film. So that tells me that he's leaving it open for a sequel where he will introduce Eddie and Marilyn. I could be wrong, but I just have this sneaking suspicion. Uh, Cassandra uh, Peterson makes a, a couple of cameos. If you don't know who that is, that is Elvira. Um, she makes a few cameos in the film, which I thought was just awesome um her character was hilarious um in the movie um she did a great job of course um just being her campy little self you know uh what else can i say about this film uh it's a bomb as predicted and not a good mom like it uh yeah just I knew it was going to be bad, but I didn't know how bad. But, I mean, it is rated PG-13. I get that. But, and I get that he tried to mock the type of comedy that was used in the Munster show. I get that. But I just feel like it was not very well executed at all. Um, it could have been a lot better. So in this movie, it, it goes all the way back to when um, the doctor that created Frankenstein, Dr. Wolfgang, uh, was uh, digging up bodies and he pieced together Herman and Herman and Lily meet, they fall in love, they get married, they go on their honeymoon and they buy the house at 1313 Mockingbird Lane. And then that's it. Like, that's where the story leaves off. So, um, you get a good start um, in the film. And then I feel like it 
finished at a good spot. And like I said, he definitely left it open for a sequel. I don't know if that will happen considering how bad this film has been rated, but we will see. Um, it's on Netflix right now. I don't know if I said that yet or not, but it is currently on Netflix. And if you're curious at all, give it a watch. Maybe it's for you. Maybe you will like it. Um, but in my personal opinion, I think zombies should just stick to making music and horror movies. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more movie reviews like this. There is a ton of them coming up in the near future. Um, if you follow my channel, you know that starting October 1st through October 31st, I put out videos every single day during the month of October because I'm a spooky marshmallow. That's what I do. So thank you so much for watching. That's going to do it for today's video. And remember, stay spooky, my friends.